Hey Gutfox here, and this is all the news that's fit to pre. Today's video will be about Madden 16 info, Joe Montana 16, and the draft promotion. Today's sponsor is Foul Language, brought to you by my opponent. Madden 16's release date is Tuesday, August 25th in the year of our Lord, 2015. There was speculation that the throwing system might be redone based on a teaser. Here it is. Be the playmaker in NFL Madden 16 with all new controls that allow you to dominate in the battle for air supremacy. There might be a change to the throwing, but the wording was vague on that. Could be about having a fight for the ball in the air, could be about wide receivers and defensive backs, like if the cover athlete is Odell Beckham Jr., then I could see the improvements to user catching. Although the cover athlete doesn't have to have anything to do with the game improvements next year. If they do something to QB throwing or catching, I hope they keep the option for standard controls. Someone on the EA forums talked about how they have a limited use of the left hand, and this might be detrimental to their game. For the throwing system, there was some speculation that you would have to flick the right thumbstick in the direction you want to pass the ball. EA does seem to love the right thumbstick for throwing punches in fight night, so I can see that being implemented. I think Joe Montana 16's release date will probably be announced at E3, which is June 16th to 18th, but I speculate it could release anywhere from early July to mid-August, as they'll want to beat Madden out the door by at least a few weeks. I assume they are waiting for E3 to announce it, as it's the industry's most covered event, and announcing a football game there will generate the most headlines, or be lost in the shuffle. They also might not know when they are releasing it yet, as setting a football game from the ground up is a lot of work, so waiting to announce the release date is smart. But as for the game, don't get your hopes up. Worst case scenario is that it's a mobile game, and we as football fans are all let down again. The only thing saying it's a console game was untrustworthy leaks on the Operation Sports forums. It's going to use Unreal Engine 4, but that can be used on consoles, PCs, mobile games, so the fact that it's using Unreal Engine 4 doesn't limit it to one or the other. There's a fella on Twitter by the name uh, of Damon Grow, who tweets about Joe Montana football, saying he works at Super Secret Sports Company. One article I read was that his background is in mobile games and social media, so that's not good for us. But looking through his tweets on the screenshots and short videos he's made, it looks far too detailed on player faces and graphics to be a mobile game. Consider me cautiously optimistic. If Joe Montana football comes out for Xbox One, I will be buying it. So onto the draft promotion. Every player in the top 10 will be over 95. This is confirmed. I speculate every player in the first round will be over 90 at least, probably over 93. I can see this bringing the market down for the top tier positions in the draft like quarterback, wide receiver, defensive tackle, defensive end, outside linebacker, maybe guard and tackle too. Unfortunately for us, the highest projected corner is Trey Waynes at 11 and he's only 6 feet tall. And the only other potential corner that's projected to go in the first round over six feet is Jalen Collins and he's 6'1". Billy Schatz was tweeting today about the upcoming Mutt schedule and uh, he says there will be three solos rewarding the same thing, two draft badges and a team collectible. Yesterday I was able to get a guy worth 8,500 coins for my Baltimore draft pick. Do you all think it was a good move on my part? If it was going to be like last year where the base rookies were everywhere and cheap, I think it was. I also think the draft pick collectibles will be cheap too because there is three solos so every player in the game will have at least three if not more when they buy packs which will probably feature guaranteed collectibles at some point. So if these draft picks are everywhere and every mutt player gets three of them then they will clearly sell for what 3,000 coins per draft pick team collectible with the higher end ones at 10,000 coins. It might make sense to put your collectible on a tray box to end right as teams are making their selection. Because if a fan of that team hears a name he likes, he might be willing to give up a lot of value, a lot of value for your collectible. This is all speculation, but after all the solos are released, you could probably put together the high-end draft picks for what the equivalent of 50,000 coins. If you could put together 98 Jameis Winston for that much, how much were RG3 sync to? What about 97 overall Amari Cooper? What will he do to the wide receiver market? But I'm almost never right in speculation, so don't trust me. And uh, in other news, luckily for everyone, the reward players and base drafted players will be auctionable and tradable. So that's great for us. Uh, Billy Schatz also talked about no more golden ticket players being available, as some of them were left unclaimed. And uh, finally, he tweeted about position solos making a comeback soon. Uh, so I suggest holding on to your players that go into those sets until people can complete the solo therefore driving out demand on your player. This happened this uh, past weekend. I was watching a couple Ultimate Legend players 
uh, and I saw their prices go up after the solos were re-released this weekend. So, you know, it could or couldn't happen, but what do I know? I'm a fox. Here is the first snap of the... That ball has I fucking hate off. this fucking faggot. 